Hi, it's Jen and Tammy here with a really fun tutorial that is darling and practical. This. So cute. The Pincushion Angels by Joyce Minnis she is beautiful so pins. Lovely ribbons Lovely. to hold the wonder clips. So when you need just a clip and you don't want to find the or box. two or three. Or you don't yes. have to open the box upside down like I do. Now I'm cleaning up. <laughs> They're all over the place. Joyce Menace, you might have seen some of the other angel patterns we've done. Yes. She is just a designer that designs goodness, uh, faith. She designs faith into that. Yeah. Um, and practicality. Everybody needs a pink cushion. You do? I, I might not even use mine. It's more of decoration. I, know. I think mine is just going to sit on my shelf. Yes. I love these. So our goal here today, Tammy mm -hmm. has made a couple of these. Mm -hmm. This, by the way, is the one of the ones Joyce made. She, she even signed this. She did. This so is made sweet. with Heather, which was a collection we did here yep. with Maywood Studio. Yep. This beautiful purple kind of posy. What was this one? Pansy's posy. Pansy's posy is another Pansy's one Joyce posies. made yep. and signed. She signed that. So one. you can see. No matter what, she made it with mini charm packs. Yes, so here's mini some mini charms. charms. We've got quite a few little mini charms here. These work great. These are ah, you're not fabulous. cutting fabric. You're not cutting. One mini Open charm with a little bit of lining fabric and some other things makes two. Take at least two. At you, least with two. stuff left over. Yes. Yes, with squares left over. You yeah. could take a charm pack, cut it in oh, half yeah. vertically and horizontally, and yes. get eight. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Yes, you can so, get eight of them out of a charm pack. Or if you just got your charms. stash and you're like, I don't have many charms or right. charms, you can just grab a two and a half inch, a spinning mat, scrap fabric, cut around. Go. You could use a jelly roll. Of course you could. Course, and then you right? could just subcut just cut it. Your, yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. however you want to get your fabric, Yep. As you can see, they look beautiful in a variety of fabrics. I agree. There yep. are some key things we want to keep in mind: the lighter color for her head, face, yeah, her or darker face. color face, yep. or whatever you're yep. going for. That's right. That's going to be in a very strategic position. Correct. So you've made this. You're the expert on this one. <laughs> the expert. Okay. I am watching. <laughs> you're going to watch process. and help. Tell me how I can help. Okay. Take here it we away, go. Tammy. All right. So we've made our nine patches. Okay. So we're making a nine patch for the front and for the back. We pressed our seams open, all right? And we, I have chosen this peach for her face. Okay. So we are gonna mark those because you don't accidentally want to cut her head off. That's, <laughs> that's not that's good. That's a very bad thing. <laughs> I know. Okay, I, never do that. Exactly. Because I know we end up trimming something you somewhere. Trim. We're gonna trim next. I see. And I wanna make sure I do not cut this poor angel's little face off. No. So we're gonna mark them with pins. I love these pins. These are cool pins. Okay. By the Gypsy Quilter. And I'm just going to mark her face. And this just tells me, don't cut that. Okay. Right? You're not going to put a rotary cutter nope. on there. Okay. So, the, in the pattern, Joyce gives you specific measurements on where to mark it and how to cut it. I will cut it for them, but I'm not going to give them the measurements. Yeah, okay? we, and we, because thank it's you, yeah, pattern. thank you, Joyce, for letting us do this. She's so sweet. Um, I know. You know, we want to protect the energy and the effort of, right. of her intellectual right. property and copyright. Everything she's done. So this is an overview. Exactly. Of the process. Exactly. So you can make your own and they're great for gift giving. I love them. And I love that. I okay. Do. What's our okay. next step? So I need a ruler to cut. Okay. Ooh. Um, and I, I brought these out, I you know, them. I love yeah. my quilting friends. I love them. This is Creative Grid. Uh, we said we would love to have them in a variety of colors to gift given yep. um, to friends. Like, you, what's your favorite color? I'll pick teal. I'll pick the teal one. This the one? The green one. Okay. Yes. And so, you know, if you're going to give an angel, Perfect. maybe give a ruler too. Oh. But these are they're not just cute. cute. To put the purple one with this one? Yes. Oh, I love that idea. And it's practical. It's it a two and a half by six it's, and a half. It's like yeah. it's something we would use. Maybe Perfect. doing a braided border. I use these rulers all the time, Jen. And now you can have yeah. on it. it. Says I love my quilting love friends. It. Has okay. hearts on it. All right. So we are going to cut, and I have pre-marked this corner to corner here, and we're just going to cut off the bottom. This is where our uh, the bottom of our pin cushion is now, right? Mm -hmm. That's right, because we yes. marked this part Correct. as that is her, her head. base. Her That's base. right. That's her head. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to 
Make Her Wings. Okay. All right. Look at this really cool fabric, Jen. This is this white, it's Arctic Ice. Robert by Kaufman. Robert Kaufman. Isn't that cool? On the website. Cold? It's beautiful. It's, like, it's just like, it, and you know. It shimmers. And it doesn't flake off. No, it's it doesn't. It's embedded. It doesn't. You can iron it, do whatever you want to it. It does not come off of there. I love this fabric. It's let's put such a, a Let's drink. put a link in the video. Okay. Let's remember Absolutely. to do that. So you can Absolutely. get that. Yes. There's a thousand uses for a fabric oh, this beautiful. Definitely. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna lay it out so the heads are together. Okay. Okay, like this. And we would sew here and here and across. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. Then we're gonna take a little bit of fusible interfacing. And I have a piece pre-cut here. We're gonna put this onto the front of our angel. So I'm gonna say this is the front, and I think we're doing this mostly because we're pinning through the front. Okay, so you're right? on the back side. You're just saying the front yes. of the angel front. Right. You're on the you back have... of the fabric, obviously. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I want to clarify <laughs> that. Clarify this, yeah. Okay, correct. All right, so we're gonna make sure that we put our fusible interfacing mm. on the front, what you determine to be the front of your project. Okay. Yes? Okay. All right, and did you see I could iron that cool pin and it didn't melt? Mm -hmm. I love that. All right, so once we get this all together, we're gonna layer it with another piece of your white. So all the way around it. Do we wanna lay that on here so I can show them? Tell them so, oh, heads in the center, heads to the center. There we go. Yes? Yes. Okay. All the way around it, right sides together. You're gonna turn it with your clover point turner. Okay. Yeah, love that, pokes out all my corners. Let me show you what you have. Here we go, there it is. Okay, all right, so I top stitch this all the way around. That closed my opening up. I didn't do any fancy hand stitching or anything like that on there. I just simply top stitched it closed. Okay. Okay, all right, now, the trickiest part of the whole thing. Now we have to do her side seams. I dress. remember you talking about this. Yeah, I have and talked about this. And it could be done by hand, you, you mentioned. You could do this by hand, yes. And we do have our Coates and Clark hand quilting thread. This stuff is so strong, you can easily use this to do that. I'm just gonna set that out. Yeah. Okay. So if you that do struggle, work. I sometimes go, exactly. I surrender. I she <laughs> ripped it too many times. That's right. I'm, going, I'm done. I'm done. I know, so I have fussed with this several times and I have come up with a way of folding this around, okay? So what we're talking about is we wanna sew her side seams. So this is the angel's head will be here. These are her side seams right here, okay? So I have pre-marked where I'm gonna sew to. Mm. So I'm okay. gonna sew, so if we have this here, I'm gonna Turn this around. See, I'm just kind of turning it, I bringing see. my points together. I'm gonna to do this at the sewing machine, and I'm just gonna sew with a little zigzag stitch here, okay? I wanna line up my seams, and then you just kind of fuss with it. It's on your machine. I leave my needle down so it holds oh, on yes. to it, right? Holds on to it, and then you can kind of pull on this a little bit without it moving, and then you just sew on up to here. And I'm gonna back tack at the beginning at the end. Oh gosh, All right? yes. Then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the other side. All okay. right, I All right. Oh man. You're ready, right? Yeah, I'd be doing okay. it. I'd probably do the hand <laughs> sewing it. But I love I love showing that capability. Okay. I want it, I want okay. them to see how I do this. All, All right. right. So I'll meet them at the sewing machine. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So I have my points are together. I'm going to use a little tiny zigzag stitch. We're gonna do a little bit of a back tack here because I don't want this coming apart. See how I can just move these sides together like that. Oh, that looks great. And we just sew it right up. And back tack at the end. And now we'll do the other side. And Jen, I think you need to come to this side. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> OK.
Okay. All right. So we're back. We have our side seams are sewn just like that. Kind of clever. Huh? That's cool. Pretty clever. Okay. Next thing, we're going to insert the head. Okay. Right? Let's give her a head. All right. So again, I'm going to use a cool pin. So I'm going to poke a pin straight down at this intersection. Okay. All the way down. Now, Jen, if you can reach in there. Yeah. And set your bead right on top of the pin. This I can do. Yeah, I know you. Perfect. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We'll get there. How many does it take to make an angel? Sometimes two people uh, make an angel, that's right? That's true. That's right. Okay, we're going to hold her head. I'm just going to kind of bust her body a little bit here and get her all straightened out. This is the front, and I know mm. that because this is where we put our interface. Yes. Right? Okay. So we want to kind of pleat her head down like this and down like this. And I'm just kind of spreading her wings out a little bit. And I'm going to make sure I don't have any wrinkles right in front of her face. Yeah. Right? We even angels want that. <laughs> even angels still want wrinkles. <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's free, funny. Free humor right it's here at ShabbyFabrics.com. <laughs> That's very funny. Angels don't like wrinkles either. <laughs> I wish we could smooth our wrinkles this easily. Okay. Me too. Now we have to do what Marcy calls torturing an angel. Oh, okay. no. I know, this poor oh. little thing. Now we're going to put a rubber band around her neck. You need to hold her head. And you're going to need to do that like three times, Jen. Oh. Sorry, Angel. It'll only be for a little while. <laughs> How about that? That's perfect. Yes. That looks great. Okay. Okay. There she is. I love it. Hold on. She has a wrinkle. Let's get that out of there. Yeah. Right? That's Don't like right. the wrinkle. <laughs> okay. All right. She's good. Okay. How cute is this? Okay. Now, I have marked ahead of time where we're going to pleat our wings. Okay. Okay. So to pleat the wings, we want to take three or four pleats, and I'm going to match this mark to this mark. So as I'm pleating, I'm mm. just folding this fabric, and I'm aiming for this as I'm going. Oh, okay. boy, I see another rubber band moment coming. There you go. You knew it. Oh, yeah. Just kind of where yep. that mark Perfect. is. Yep. And, and I don't know. At least three, if not four. I think these are just the rubber bands, like a little girl, like yeah, their hair. Yeah, that they put in their hair. Nothing I think so. Fancy dancy. <laughs> fancy dancy. Nothing fancy. <laughs> yeah. Dollar store oh, stuff. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on this side. Okay. And again, we're just going to pleat her wing like this. And again, I'm just aiming for this when I'm, that's what I'm watching when I'm going for it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get my hand out of there. I don't want her to rubber band me to the... I remember angel. when Hope was doing <laughs> dance and uh, ballet, and oh, we yeah. had a oh, lot yeah. of these in the house. <laughs> the rubber bands. Oh, were... yeah. Okay. I don't think mine are Perfect. even, though. What did you do? This one is further out. Should I scoot it in? Yep. It okay. does look a little further out. So Let's maybe that's something to be even. That's correct. We do want them even. That's we... why we mark it. Otherwise, that looks much better. She yeah. might be flying sideways. Sideways. <laughs> Want her going wow. sideways. Our basic aerodynamics okay. is same wing. <laughs> same wing. <laughs> Very <laughs> important. Yes. Okay. Now we are going to tie some ribbon. And I pre cut ribbon for you, Jen, over there. Okay. All right. So we're going to fold her wings to her head like this. Yep, and so we have done this ahead of time. So Joyce gives you very good instructions on how long to cut your ribbon, okay. how to do your bow, how to, and we chose to put a cross on her. Yes. I love that. Okay, so, yep, you're gonna put on it just like that, and we're gonna go all the way around. Oh, man. And tight, tight, yes? Tight, tight, yes, please. Do I want to be above or below the no. rubber bands? Uh, right on the rubber bands is fine. That's perfect, just like that. Oh, gosh. You put your finger there? Yep, I got it. Well, that. this is like quilting with friends. It is. 
Crafting with friends. Crafting with friends. And then I think I want right. to leave the ribbons long so that we have this, right? You want Are to they? tie another bow here. Please. Okay. Oh. We're just going to tie, just like we're tying a bow. And see, we still have long tails. We still have tails on our ribbon back here. Okay. And we're going to stick a pin there. Here, tomorrow, I'll borrow this one. There you go. It's a long one. It's going to go all the way to her head, I think. Yep. Okay. All right, we're going to hold that there. Now we get to make the pincushion part. Oh, you're right. Right? That's, yes. And you know what? I just realized. What? Because I've never actually made one of these. Did you put the interfacing here to reinforce yes. where the pins are going to go? For the pins, yes. Nice. Yes. Okay. That's why you're interfacing the front of her dress. I see. Not the back. Yes. Because I that that let light bulb moment only just now oh, happened for me. Just now. <laughs> I thought I, I said that? that. I thought I said that. You okay. might have. So we're gonna set her aside for right now. Okay. And now we get to play with walnut shells. I yes. love these. I do too. All right. And so this is her body for okay. the lining inside. So Joyce gives you templates in, okay. your, in your pattern to cut this all out. And so I just cut two pieces. I sewed them right sides together, turned them, pressed them. I did not top stitch it. I didn't think I needed to top stitch it. Okay. Okay. So we have an opening here. And we're going to put our funnel in here. I'm going to let you pour... The one that I would love to. Uh, no. One 11 ounce bag, unscented or lavender scented, will yes. make both angels, I both think, angels. with spa loom to spare. Yes. We'll see, because I've made one out of this, Ooh. and I tried to use half, so we'll see how much we get in there. Okay. And these are the best. Oh, these I are the best smell. quality. And you know, that is oh, real lavender it's buds. Amazing. The oil comes from France. It's the purest of the walnut shells. It's beautiful. They're cosmetic grade, so. They are just wonderful, and they hold their scent. If you like the scented, or if you don't yes, want the scented, yeah. But if you they're don't just want the wonderful. Scented. So be sure, and there's so many. Every pin cushion, I, I once filled a pin cushion with polyfill. Oh, it had no weight. Right. So the moment I put a pin back in, it flew. <laughs> it flew right off uh, the so table. So this is yeah. what gives this angel a nice weight, and she's her form. She doesn't move. We doing good? Yeah, we're doing really good. Filling up our little body here. I'm just trying to shake it around and get those shells in there. I think we could take some more. Okay. Tell me when. Okay. That's probably good. Okay. Let's see how we do. Because I still have to close the bag. Remember that. That's you true. have an opening here. Well, I see I have a big gap over here. Okay. So you oh, can take, take more? a few more. Sure. And always, you always want to do this. You notice how we're using this bowl. That's probably good. We're using a bowl. You definitely yeah. want to use something make a mess. underneath your walnut shells. If you pull this out or if you have a child helper, right? Yeah. I can just see doing yeah. this with my grandkids or with your kids. See, I accidentally pulled it out. And look at that. We're spilling. Yep. There we go. Okay. This is why we have a bowl. So we have just a little bit left over. Perfect. So even if you spill a touch, you're going to have good. plenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we have options. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I can take this to the sewing machine. That sewing machine? <laughs> That's the one I've got. I don't think we should do that, Tammy, because I think walnut shells, one little walnut shell could ruin your whole day. Down in that soil. Okay. What's your next best idea? My next idea is hand sew it. Yes. Right? Definitely hand sew this together. That's easy enough to do, right? We could even use a couple of our clips and clip it together. Sure. Right? Or we can hot glue it. I like that one I right like now. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I knew it. I, I know you had this over too. here for a reason. I, I did. I, I was waiting for when that moment happened. Okay. Yes. And I've got kind of a shorter. Okay. You have a short card. All right. So we're just using a low temp hot glue here. Nothing crazy. We're going to put it together and pinch it. 
And if you really wanted to, you could now go hand sew that. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. right could. to the top you of could. it. If you wanted to. I honestly don't think these shells are going anywhere. I'm yes. not going to play football with my angel. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's yeah. just going to sit on my shell. So I think that is plenty of walnut shells. Look at that. That Okay, perfect. Cute. Okay, I'll take that. And you can have that back. All right. Here we go. Let's put her body in. You know, let's drag her wings back down. Hang on a second. You're right. Let's drag her wings down a little. I think we can clip some of the rubber bands, can't we? Cut them? We can. Yes, we can do that. And I know they we recommend a seam ripper. I've got some scissors here. Do you want to sure. try this? We can just a little bit of surgery. Scissor. We'll do some surgery on her little rubber bands. You can cut that pink one right there. Yep. Perfect. You know, I'm always, I'm not a huge rubber band fan. You've said that, yeah. You know, my brothers tormented me oh. unmercifully with rubber bands when I was younger, and I just, I've not been a fan of them ever since. Oh, I get it. Seems that. every time you play with them, they snap and they. Yes. Yeah. Right? Can you find it? There it is, right and there. there's it's the one on the head three. too. I can grab I can, that one. I can leave that on. She said. Okay. Joy said we can leave the one on her head. We don't okay. need to mess with that. Okay. All right. So now let's get her wings down. This is cool, because I've been. Mis I thought. Hold them. Yep. And we're gonna tuck the tip in just like this. How cute is this? Aww. She's so cute. Joyce always has cute this, designs. But if you fluff them out like that a little bit, let's give her some shoulders. It says that they need shoulders. Yep. So we have to make sure she has her shoulders. Is that the front? That's the back. This is the front. Okay. All right, Jen, I think we're ready to insert our body now. Okay. Okay. Good boy. I know it's a little bit of a tight fit. Yeah. We got it. My beat and my hands are probably in your way. Nope. Oh, good. We'll squish this down a little bit. There we go. Now we have a base. And if you notice, Joyce has got, it's a hard base, right? She uses cardboard. Yep. Yes. And so she has a template for this in the pattern. Okay. Wonderful. And I have transferred the markings from the template in the pattern onto our cardboard. The reason I did that is because, I think we got our bag in there, right? I'm trying to center it. Mm -hmm. okay. You just have to fuss with it a little you bit. You do have to fuss with it a little bit. There we go. I want this in the center. Okay, so we're gonna bring our angel together now at the bottom. And again, this is gonna be, it's a bit of a tight fit, which is good. You don't want her to be loose down here. Okay. There we go. Nice. I got it. Good All work. Right. Yay. Okay. So now we're going to bring our side seams together. And I'm watching my marks. This is center. Oh, so we're going to keep yeah. this centered with this, right? Okay. This is center. So I want to bring the bottom over. Good right work. Over center. That's pretty darn close. Just like that. Look at that. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So now we have another option. We can hot glue this or we can hand stitch this. This is entirely up to you. Okay. But I prefer hot glue because it's quick, it's easy, and I move on to the next part. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Okay. I think I'll have to come. I'll move the angel. There we go. Let's move her to you. That's easier. I'll just do one set at a time. Yep, please. Okay. Okay. We're going to pull this back over, and again, having that template there is very handy because I can make sure we're pulling this to the center. Yeah, yeah. and I know I'm in your way right there. Not. You're good. How are you, Chen? You want to do more glue? Perfect. Okay. All right. Do we have more glue in there, I hope? Oh, uh, barely. Okay, we're going to need a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I'm putting the bottom together. Oh, it's stuck before we were ready. Don't do that. Yeah. 
You see this glue? It's just kind oh, of Oh yeah, it's very stringy. Right? It's just stringy, it's everywhere. Okay, so now we have on the bottom, we have like a point that we made. And this point just needs to fold over like this. Okay. So I just need a little tiny bit of hot glue right here. Good. Okay. And we're just gonna fold this over. A little toasty. A little hot. Yeah, a little hot. I can't <laughs> trying to hold it, but yes. it's a little warm. But we'll just keep rolling that glue off of there. Okay. Like this. Perfect. I'm just kind of making a straight. Yep. Hold it for a second till it sets. Now, if you wanted to stitch these, you could do that. You could. This one did not hold. He came apart. I did. I don't. I don't think I held him. Just a little bit. I don't think I gave you the right amount of glue. That so might I, be. I don't know. It was. You hold that one. <laughs> Yep. There we go. There we My, go. we got it now. We got okay. it. Teamwork. All right. Let's put her down. Let's squish her, squish her, squish her. Stand up straight. This is her front. Yep. And we just are going to work her around. Yeah. There's her wings. Her wing came undone. Oh, poor girl. There we go. Let's get her wings back down. They are so cute. I know. They really That ribbon are just wants to cute. pop up. I know it does. Well, I need to retie it a little bit. Here, let me redo my bow. There we go. I'm just going to redo my bow here. And we have some more ribbon here, and that's going to yeah. be her. There. That's better. Okay, so if you can just tuck that ribbon underneath this one. Nope, oh, just one side of it. Oh. There you go. And then they just kind of loop down. Oh, really? Yes. You kind of fish it through there? Yep. Yep. Can you get it? Yes. Perfect. Yep, go about halfway. And yep, they just trail down her back. And the clips hold them down. Oh, of course right? they the do. The clips add weight. Let me still a clip off of our other one. The clip oh, adds weight, and that's they how do. they stay down, right? So you'd add your other clip, your other one, and then her little wings, and then we are going to hand stitch her little wings together. Oh, I remember that. Remember? Uh, yes, 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 yes. So our needle there thread is. is right there. And we did that. We just kind of pulled her wing together at the bottom, and we're just going to hand stitch her wing right here to the bottom of her dress. Yeah. And I would hand stitch this rather than using hot glue. And I'll show them right that my Oh, be there you go. Shorter. That is easier so we can just to show that. So you can I see like how Joyce just brought a little bit of stitching from that wing to the dress just to hold them down so just the to wings hang are on to it. That's right. The amount of rise of a wing is called dihedral. Oh, we do not want to not have want too much dihedral. Not too much? No, just enough. Just enough. Yeah. This so is probably too much. There's your aerodynamic lesson pop for the day. Pop her wing down a little. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss Judd. You're welcome. And so that keeps her wings in position. I love that. Yes. yes. Keeps her wings where they're supposed to be. How cute is this? Oh, Joyce is just... Just make a dozen of them. Well, as long as you have all the stuff set up and all the stuff drug out, you might as well just go. Especially right? with scraps. You Absolutely. turn scraps into something very special. Uh, so And, sweet. The, you know, I don't think I could, I see them here on the, my left or my right. I, I would, I could have these all around all my sewing the house. Room. They're oh, just, yeah. they're just fun. They're just so much fun. And I if you want to use them as an actual pin cushion. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. You can. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Fantastic. Tammy, thank you for showing us You're the steps welcome. along welcome. the way. As you can see, you so don't need fun. to be an accomplished quilter. No, that step on you the don't. machine was next level. That was if you're like me tricky. and would struggle, <laughs> grab for your hand sewing thread. That's but don't right. let that be the reason you don't make these darling exactly. easels. Pick exactly. up the pattern. Anything else you mean? Don't forget your walnut shells. Your walnut shells. That's perfect. Um, your cool pins, yeah. your rulers. Pre-cuts yeah. if you want to use yeah. them. If you want to use pre-cuts. Yep. And Fun. we will see you soon on another Shabby Fabrics video. God, I you now. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Know, so. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> what did I have? I don't know. I turned on four. It's like a little piece of fabric or something. I'm cleaning up over here. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> you see what I deal with when I'm with someone? <laughs> I'm just trying to be efficient over here. Wow. Okay, stop touching things. <laughs>